Let's summarize a separation of variables and then formally justify it as a method. So, definition. A differential equation is called separable if can be written the derivative of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable is a function of the independent variable times a function of the dependent variable. And our claim is that we can solve such a differential equation by rewriting it as one divided by the function of the dependent variable equals the function of the independent variable and integrating both sides. And it's not, we've addressed this before, but it's not in the least obvious why this should be true. This is not a fraction. We can't actually multiply both sides by dx. So let's try to offer up a justification of this. For ease of writing, Will that h of y equal one divided by f of i? And we will say we're trying to solve h of y dy dx equals a g of x. And all we've done here is take this differential equation and divide both sides by this. Certainly we're allowed to do that. And our claim 
is that the solution is given by this implicit equation. I haven't formally defined implicit equations yet, but our claim is that we can just integrate both sides, integrate h of y, integrate to g of x. To justify this claim, let's look at the equation we're trying to solve. We can certainly take two functions that are equal to each other and integrate both of them with respect to the same variable. So that's what I'm doing. I'm taking this equation we're trying to solve and integrating with respect to x. Don't be careful here. This dx does not exist as its own thing. It is part of a piece of notation that indicates differentiation. And this dx is just a piece of notation telling you that you are very um, integrating with respect to x. So what you cannot do as much as you might like it is cross these dx's out. We need another way of approaching this. That capital H of Y B an anti derivative of lowercase h of y with respect to y. And let's ask a question. What is the derivative not with respect to y, but with respect to x of this function? Remember when we take this derivative that y is itself a function of x. We don't usually use this function notation, but I'll write it here to really drive that point home. Because now we're using the chain rule. We take the derivative of the outside function with the inside function stuck inside of it. This is an antiderivative. So the derivative of capital H is lowercase h. The inside function is stuck inside it. times the derivative of the inside function. 
And if this looks familiar, it's because we saw it up here. So this equals this. And I came so close to finishing up on a single sheet of paper We're integrating this with respect to X. On the right, we just have this function. And now the fundamental theorem of calculus says that if you differentiate with respect to a variable, but then integrate with respect to the same variable, you wind up with your original function. Here, we need an antiderivative. We've used capital H. So we'll use capital G. We've got our constant of integration. All of our steps here were valid. We didn't do anything dubious like we do up here when we multiply both sides by dx. It's all formal and correct. And what we wind up with is exactly what this process says we should wind up with. We integrate this side, we get capital H of Y. We integrate this side, we get capital G of X plus C. And this was exactly our goal.